Okay, guys, so I decided to make this video uh, just to make a video. So what I'm doing here is I'm uh, rebuilding a um, 351 Windsor, it's a Ford small block. It's uh, 60,000 uh, oversize and it's a 1974 and the heads are 1969 DOOE heads. So great heads, small combustion chamber and uh, this should be awesome. So I'm at my last valve now. So what do you want, since I bought them used, you want to make sure that the, uh, the valve will seat properly on the valve seat, right? So what you need to do is um, you buy this uh, valve seat grinding compound, any auto shop, I guess. You put a little bit, you dab some here on the valve. This and then you put some on the seat right here, all around. There you go. I'm gonna make two passes, so I'm just gonna add some later on. All right, insert the valve. There you go. Clean any. Over, there you go. Take this tool right here. This one here is for the um, the, the the fuel, the intake valve, because it's smaller, and you have a bigger one for the exhaust here. Just make sure they're clean, or else it won't stick. So you just squish this right here, pull a little bit towards you, start grinding. So you can hear the grinding noise, right? doing its work here and eventually it'll smooth out a little bit there you go what I do is I pull it out and I put some more I dab on some more here here and I'll put some more here like this there you go and I'll do it again there you go nice it's great Oops. Oh, nice and smooth. There you go. So that will make sure that the valve closes properly when it's operating. Now I just unstick this here. Wipe. See, see what it does here? So this nice shiny line. This is where it seats, where the valve seats on the valve seat. So you know, it's nice and even so you know it's going to seat properly clean everything off you don't want to leave any residues because that's going to end up in your engine and probably scratch your cylinders there you go well actually this is the exhaust so it would go out the exhaust anyways clean the seat look how shiny this is this is nice there's no nicks or anything that's cool there you go all right nice this is nice this is Oops. get some dirt here this is nice so that will guarantee me that the valve is gonna close and won't leak so now i'm gonna put this oil seal right here the valve stem oil seal there you go i got my spring here and i got the retainer whatever you want to call it and I'm going to use this spring, this spring compressor right here. Actually, I don't need this right now. Like this. It's a little bit awkward. You know, the first one you do is a little bit awkward, but you get, you get used to it, I guess. There are some better ones out there, but I don't, I mean, this one is $44. So, yeah, better ones are more expensive also. There you go. There you go. Probably a line. Start turning this here. There you go. I'm gonna use this little stick here. Oops, it came off. There you go. There you go. All right, start turning. And that will compress the spring. 
it's easier to compress a spring while it's on the, uh, the valve here. There you go, so I see it's all in one unit now, all compressed. Now the valve came down here, so I'm just going to push it up. There you go. And now you got these two, I should have shown you this before, but anyways, these two valve stem uh, retainers, right? So they go like this. They go like this in a notch that's right here on the valve. So that one came down again. There you go. All right, so you just insert. It's a little bit tricky. The first ones are tricky, but after that, you get you get the hang of it. Just the valve up. There you go. Oh, oh man, I dropped it. Shit. All right, let me start this again. I'm gonna get a magnetized screwdriver here that will help to get it out. There you go. All right, take two. Like I said, it's a little bit tricky. What I like to do is just put him there and then slide him down. There you go, Whoop. one is in. There you go, both of them are in. And then you pull the spring, so that'll hold the retainers up in their notch and you just, Decompress the springs. There you go. Give it a little tap on it. Make sure everything's well seated, and there you go. Done. Easy. The whole head took me about, I don't know, 40 minutes, so it's pretty good. There you go, guys.